Hi, I am Sylvia Rosenberg, and today we are going to cut a three-tiered cake. My clients are always asking me, how am I supposed to cut this cake? Uh, or, aren't you afraid to cut the cake? So no, I am not afraid to cut the cake, and this is how we're gonna cut the cake. We are going to first take the top tier. Oh, a big knife. That's the one thing that I like. Um, I guess everybody has their preferences, but this is the way I do it. And it's worked for me. So normally there's a big dowel running through the cake, a big piece of wood or something of the sorts to keep it steady. You want to have a buddy or have somebody with you and maybe pull out that when you pull it off and or you're gonna it's either gonna stay stuck in this part or gonna stay stuck on the top part this cake does not have a dowel because I for, I forgot to put one but it's okay so we have the top tier we're gonna leave that and we could probably make it prettier so sometimes if you don't go through a whole cake it's nice for the client to take the top tier home and then you have a whole little cake left over versus a cut a cake that's already been cut into so we're gonna need I like paper towels some people like to use hot hot water to dip their knife in but I just find it messy and I don't personally like it but some people do so now we're gonna separate the second tier um, it is pretty much the same thing when you're using fondant when you're cutting a fondant cake it's the same amount of dowels and it's just a little bit easier because you don't leave fingerprints in the buttercream, in the fondant. Um, all right, so we have separated the three cakes and we always start with the bottom one, the, the biggest one. So what I do, because this cake, if you cut it straight through, it will give you really, really big slices. And a lot of people don't eat those big slices. That's for restaurants or something. But here, we're gonna cut a circle, probably about the size of the top tier, all around it. I said in my other video that I always um, hot glue the board to the bottom of the cake, and that is why, did you see that just slid? You should have some plates ready. We have a few plates here. The first slice is always the toughest. There, that was not so tough, but it always is the hardest to get out, so. Um, and then you just continue slicing through until you go around the whole cake, and then you will be left with just the middle, and then you can slice that into four or six slices. This is an eight inch cake, and I usually serve 20 people out of an eight inch cake, but, um, the way I'm cutting it right now, we're probably gonna have a lot more slices. I'm cutting them very small, which is great for birthday, for kids' birthdays or parties where you know the adults are not gonna be eating a lot of dessert. So if you know this is gonna be the dessert for the evening or for the party, then you probably wanna cut them a little bigger, which maybe I'll, I just will cut one bigger just so that we have. Um, and then um, the bigger the cake, the the, when the cake is bigger, this, this I guess a caterer's cut comes in handy because um, you really would be left with a humongous slice if you cut all the way from here to the middle. And um, this is the way I cut the big cakes. And you, once you go through that, then we go to this one. This is a six inch round cake. And this one I will cut straight through. I will not make that circle in the middle. It's not necessary. You always will find in the stacked cakes, the dowels. And um, sometimes if the dowels are too big, that's, that's a wasted slice. You don't wanna give somebody a humongous, a slice with a humongous hole in it. Um, like I said, the first one is always the trickiest. But here it is, and I 
and then we just keep going from there. And the same with the, with the top one. So that for me is the easiest way to cut a cake and to um, serve all your guests at the party. So thank you. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe to my channel and share the videos and leave a comment if you have any questions, I will try to answer them. Thanks.